That's a distraction. <clears throat> I get that all the time. People trying to sell me something. Okay, the camera's on. Continue recording. Right. I'm going to ring the bank. Here goes. My voice confirms my identity. Identity. Um, I've got a question for investment. Business. Yes, look, um, I've got an investor in, in Thailand um, and um, I wanted to see what the NZ Bank's um, criteria is on Bitcoins, the um, 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 blockchain wallet. That's what he wanted to put the money into my account, my NZ account. Thank you. Here goes. I'll soon know about bitcoins.
I don't, yep. Yeah, okay, okay, that's fine, that's fine. That's fine. I'm just checking up on Bitcoin's um, blockchain um, wallet. It's a form of currency outside of normal currency that's been allowed in America to run rife. All I hear is scam, but it's like bartering on your own value with someone who's prepared to trade with you in a blockchain system of one country to the other, company to company. And so Harold, I've asked him for pound note, hard cash, and he's throwing this at me. <coughs> and this is what he says. On the 24th of September yesterday, one day ago, at 12.51, Dear Mr. Wanoa, I hope you do receive this email. Kindly open a blockchain wallet and revert to me immediately. Your files were retrieved this morning following my continuous interest in the Moai Powerhouse Limited. Regards, Dr. Harold Link, Chairman and CEO, D. Grimm, and Co. Limited. Yes, look, uh, my name is John Wanawa. Um, look, I, I I'm, uh, have created or invented a, a tidal turbines project that's been going on for some time, but I've got an investor in Thailand, a prominent uh, person in the um, uh, hydroelectric um, industry and owns the, the, the power company in Thailand. And his name is Dr. Harold Link. He says to me in this letter, um, emails backwards and forwards since October last year, he's going to invest in this project in New Zealand, the Rantfully Bank on the East Coast on my land rocks, in the seas, 30 miles out. <coughs> Dear Mr. Wano, I hope you do receive this email. Kindly open a blockchain wallet and revert to me immediately. Your files were retrieved this morning following my continuous interest in the Moai Powerhouse Limited. Reply immediately. Regards, Dr. Harold Link, Chairman and CEO, B. Grimm and Company Limited, Dr. Gerhard, Link Building, 
and something road Huamak, Bangkapi, Bangkok, 10240, Thailand. So um, I, I know he is who he is, but he's treating me like something that he controls uh, uh, with the Bitcoin. Uh, and um, I'm wondering if the ANZ Bank deals in what I'm just seeing in his email as his contribution to one million pounds I asked him for to put into the project to start it off. That's what's supposed to go in my NZ Bank, one, one uh, million uh, Great British Pound. And he's throwing these Bitcoins in there. This, is, this, is a, 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 this man owns the, the power companies in Thailand, Laos, and got the latest, biggest projects in, in, in uh, uh, generators. He's worked in uh, uh, GE, uh, in Simon's generators. I know all about all of that, and um, he's um, promoting the General Electric generators, the big one, 840 megawatts. That he's got six of those in Thailand, and so he said this project I've got is the best in the world, and he wants to put it up to Bitcoin as a currency. I've got the pound note currency myself, straight to Britain, but he's coming in with King of Thailand with his own control over the company as an outside director and uh, he doesn't want to be domiciled with this with me and the company over there in Thailand but he'll control all the revenue and I get I have to do all the hard work putting the turbine together with Chinese now I've got that all ready to go now to go and pay them with something so how does the ANZ fit with what I've just said about bitcoins and, and blockchains and, and wallets and things I've got an idea how it works, but I'm I'm just wondering. The ASB looks like they deal in bitcoins, but I'm 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 not, I'm not too sure about that. I've got a count already with the, with that company uh, that I've got for uh, energy project. I've been in it for a long time, but I've never had any real serious investor until this one came along. So this man here is credible on his profile on LinkedIn and on everything. It's it's um, it's correct, but it's just the way he's treating me as the inventor of all this project that he's going to control the whole thing without giving me a phone call. This has been going on since October last year. Backwards and forth, back and forth. He's got all my information now. You ask for all the turbine, how it works, and all that. So I give them all. The Chinese have got it too. They're going to build it, and so I've got everybody waiting to get paid. And look, look, look at this guy put me up to. You see, and and whether it's value for the NZ Bank to deal with bitcoins, you'd have to talk to him. So that his money is hard cash here in, in the NZ Bank. That's all I want. That's all I ever asked for. For him to invest. He gets 40%. I've signed an agreement with him, a contract with him, conditional on what I want. And so I signed that, sent it back to him. He hasn't signed it back to me. He's still asking for more. But it's, it's the ANZ Bank. Um, you know, uh, I, 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 I'm better to tell him that the bank wants to see hard evidence because you can go and bit, get Bitcoin from anywhere. Like he's saying to me, oh, go and open yourself a, 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 a Bitcoin account, wallet account, and it could be any Bitcoin. He's not telling me which one. He's just saying, go and get one. It's left me wide, wide open spaces. This is a credible businessman who's, who, who, who's a billionaire. He's, he's a billionaire treating me like that. I'm, I'm the one with the brains that put the best project together, been going for a while. And he knows there's something in it for him. He says, you have 60%, I have, I have 60%, he has 40%. But he, he runs the governance in Thailand outside of here. I want to, I want to see if you accept Bitcoin from... Thailand from him, from
from his bank account to our bank account. It's it's a that's all I wanted to hear. That that's all I wanted to hear. I, I don't need to go any further. Yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. <coughs> Does any other bank do that or not? That you know? Okay, so that you've answered my question. Thank you very much. Okay. No, that's all right. I was hoping something would eventuate out of it, but it doesn't matter. I can deal with that. Okay, bye. There you go. Bitcoins. No. Harrowing. You watch this video? The answer is no. If one bank, big bank, that's Australia Bank, New Zealand Bank, and British Bank, and you come in with a Bitcoin from the middle of nowhere, I listen to these guys because I've been banking them with, with them for a long time. And the NZ Bank is in England, where the power note is, where I've got the power note. I'd rather stick with my power note. It's real. Substance in it. Mr. Harold Link, why do you throw me out to the walls? Those bitcoins can be stolen. Not tag pay and the pound note on this mobile phone cannot be stolen. You left me in the walls. Right and open. That's my answer to bitcoins. The bank said no. You know what I say? No is the answer. No deal. Harold, no deal. I'd rather sit and wait for the right one, or create the money myself. <coughs> I'll create the money myself, Harold. Don't use those documents you've got because you've got a power note on your head. You're not to use those documents because they're online, everybody's looking at them on my site. They're in China. Those companies there are looking at it too. It's under the British flag. This flag I've got here. Anybody tampering with it? Harold, unfortunately for you, you might have a lot of money, but I don't need it. I asked you for a pound note, hard cash. You're throwing me little tidbits of cork tops, bottle tops. You can take your bottle tops and put it back somewhere else because I can't use them. The bank won't take them. That the biggest bank here won't take them, Harold. What do you think you're trying to do to me? What are you trying to think? I um, haven't got as much brains as you, a German. And yet you want my business plans. You've got them. But don't use them. Because you've got this German bound note on your head. The king of Germany. Right? The king George's. I've got the title for that, Mr. Link. Not professional. You won't even answer a call for me. You won't even ring me. You've got no decency as a gentleman to call me. You don't want me to be your partner, yet you want to use my head and my brain. And say, so shove it, John. Take these little contracts and use those to build your turbine with. Not good. Not a good look. That's for all my viewers watching. I just got off the bank. Phone. <coughs> <coughs> That's what he said. No. Sorry. We don't take bitcoins. And all the rest of the drama that goes there. Harold, barking up the wrong tree. I'd rather make my own money. Thank you very much. Let this for the record in Britain and the world that <clears throat> what you do to me and say things like, like that here. Uh, dear Mr. Wano, I hope you received this email. I hope, hope I get it. What does that mean? Is it going to get intercepted somewhere? Kindly open a blockchain wallet. Well, I hated the stuff that you're talking about. I hated it all along. 
I got my own power note. That's why I got my own power note. Because I don't believe any of those sorts of systems that are scams. That's all they are, scams. I've got a whole list of them here. And I'm going to put them in the email pack for you. Why? I'll make my decision on top of this video from the bank. Kindly open the blockchain wallet and revert to me immediately. Who the hell do you think I am? Bowing to your command, Mr. Hitler. Who do you think you are fooling, Mr. Hitler? Your files were retrieved. You mean you got them out of the rubbish bin? That's what the retrieved means. You, you, you fished them out of somewhere. Fished them out of somewhere. These important documents that you want to make a lot of money out of for yourself. This morning, this morning, it's been an over with you for a whole week now. And you say, you just got them this morning from somewhere and retrieved them out of the rubbish bin. <coughs> Following my continued interest in the Moai Powerhouse Limited. The last time it was Moai Powerhouse, private company. Now you're putting limited on the end of it in capitals, LTD. What do you think I am? What do you think I am? Harold, you think I'm going to sit here and take all what you're throwing at me without you saying, uttering a word to me? No. No deal. No deal, Mr. Harold Link. I'd rather stay without your bottle dogs. Thank you very much. <clears throat> That's what I want to say. Uh, I could say some more stronger words, but I won't. I won't, because the Queen is German too. And you can see where that's gone. Happened to Scrappy in the Dutchman, King William III in Brussels, in Belgium. She's hiding over there. That's that German. And the other German that's helping her, Gordon Brown, set up the scam EU Parliament with her private business and stole all, everything out of Britain. Right? It's, it's all German German. I, I can say that. I can say the Germans are doing all the dirty work with the money. Everybody's had a guts full of them. The Rothschild families. The, Rus the, the Russians. Bricks. I'm going with bricks. Mr. Link, I'm going with BRICS. Brazil, Russia, India, China, and South Africa. There. The South African is my DNA, right here. Mr. Link, I'm going with it. And these German kings. But the Dutch ones. The Dutch ones. Not the Scottish ones, the Dutch ones. And the Irish, my Irish, eight-point star on the flag. Okay? They're the ones that did all the hard yards. I don't want to do all the hard work while you rake all the money in. No. You're a leader. I'm a leader. You're a Capricorn. I'm a Leo. Leos don't get pushed around, mate. Get your ass bitten by a lion. Okay? You got a gold carriage, it'll roll you over with tons of steel. Anyway, I'll make this public announcement on YouTube and Skype. And I'll no longer be going with you. No longer. Cut off. You're not to touch any of my documents, use them, or utter them, or copy them, because they are patent under the flag. The Queen. The King, <coughs> William III, Dutchman's flag, Zealand, New Zealand, N-U-Z-E-E-L-A-N-D, New Zealand, Dutch. <coughs> okay, you got that? Because of your silence, ignorance, to talk to me as a partner, I'm not going to let you say nothing as a leader, saying nothing to me. And I'm a leader too. I'm taking this whole bloody world with me. Away from 
all the thug elites. An inch at a time. An inch at a time. I'm the, not the only one. I'm the one with the flag. I'll show you the flag. <coughs> Here, Harold. Here is the authority of the pound note. Now, why would I want a stupid bottle top coin when I got this and the pound note and the jurisdiction to print my own pound note money? Not the Rothschild pound note, because it's only got one bar on it, two bars, the silver and the gold. Right there. Got that? You got that? I'm not so fucking dumb. And here's the eight point star, the sheriff that clicked the leases on the Kingsley Sands. Okay? We're talking Dutch here. Dutch. They're the ones that went out sailing around and picking all the land up. Okay? So that's all I want to say um, today. <coughs> now the other mishap I had with, is with this tech whiz in uh, Evandale, Auckland. That guy put me up to it. He's going to put it on Facebook. This fella, Dion, that owns that tech whiz. He's in a house on the back street of Evandale. Doesn't look very inviting when you go there and a dog, big dog, two dogs behind the fence. <coughs> he made me go down there, right? He made me go down there to pick the TV up. I've got the dates, 18th, when he's got his email to me to come and pick it up. And that's why I went down there to pick my TV, $10 one I won on the auction, $10 for Sanyo, 32 inch. <laughs> And I already told him, no, I don't want it. Keep the thing. So, I'm waiting for the $10 to come back in my account. I can't see it in my NZ account. Because he's been trading for a long time, there's only three things I ever bought on trading. So I'm not there watching accounts and seeing where, how it works. He's a crafty little sod. <coughs> but he had a run-in with my daughter. And he took it out on me. That's what that's what he did. I'm just making this public. That guy wants me going down and defame me. You know what he's gonna have? He's gonna have a pound note on his head. I told him. The dick collectors will be after him for trying to put me down. And especially me, a surrogate king of this land. That's what I said to him. This land you're occupying, if you step in the road of this authority, we're going to come and investigate your land underneath you. Every piece of land in this country is going to get investigated after Cook Street. That's what I'm saying. You see? So he took that as being a threat. The boys are going to come around. You see? I had boys before that went to get Cook Street. They manhandled all those guys out of the office. I put them on a contract. I put them on a contract to go and get that land. They said, yes, they can do it. Straight out of school, straight into here, and yanked them out of the office. Guess what? They got off their case. And all those people in there were having them up for salt, this, that, and everything. This is one of them. This one is like those ones. Having him up for assault with him behind the fence and protected with two dogs and a big bar fence and me on the other side. Instead of him turning around and walking back the other way, away he went, intimidating me. <coughs> he provoked me to say something so he can use it against me. All right? I'll use this against him. This, he'll get this for doing that to me. And setting me up. And because when I had a look at the ping account, because I don't, I don't do ping accounts. That's what trade me do, ping accounts. I wanted my money where I got it from, my bank, to go back in my bank. When I looked at it, I didn't think of looking at Ping because I've never used Ping before. I always pay with my own account. I won't even be touching Ping anymore because it's Ping, it's these sort of people that are Ricky. <coughs> so I looked at Ping and they refunded my $10 because when I said I'm not coming down to pick it up, it's not worth the gas going to get it because they wouldn't pack it for me and put it 
in the courier. I said, how much is it? And they'll pay for it. And just pack it up. And the couriers were, I got the couriers, I arranged all the couriers to go around and pick it up. <coughs> he wouldn't even do that. Out of me being an older person uh, and someone of status in this country. He, he couldn't even do that. Just pack it and put it in the box. And I said, no, just throw it in the van and let it go. If it breaks, it's my problem. No, he wouldn't do that. Wouldn't do that. And the courier comes in and says, or trade me says, no, it's up to the it's up to the, the person that's selling the item whether they put it packed or unpacked. It's always pick up. Buyer must pick up. <coughs> so no flexibility in it. I, I would have paid all the postage to save me putting gas in my car. 180 bucks worth of gas just to go and get a ten dollar TV. Do you think I'm stupid to go and pick it up if there wasn't reason to go down there? I got an email here clearly saying from him and his company, come and pick it up on the 18th of September. And there it is, on 14th of August, I, there's a refund of the $10 in my account. Instead of him telling me, you've been refunded. No, he just set me up to go down there for nothing, spend 160, 180 bucks, to go and intimidate in front of him and pull me down so he can hang one on me. No, not going to work. The same as Cook Street. Those white parkiers over there, he's one of them. Right? He's he's like those people. They lost the case. They got a loser here. And you got this down your neck. Right? I'm taking all this on my own. And I think he's just a bit jealous of me being who I am with all that power. And I do have all that power. Okay? I'm going straight into Britain with all those people in Britain. Tell them what's good for them. Save Britain with their flag. Okay? So that, that, that's, that's my only gripe today. Uh, and he says, oh, he reported it to the police. I'll just wait for the police to come around and tell them. This guy set me up. He had the option of backing off, walking the other way behind his fence and forget about me because I didn't want to stand around and come all the way for nothing <clears throat> because I knew I had already told him, keep the same thing. I don't want it. I don't want the TV. For ten bucks, well, I still got no TV, and so I could have walked the other way too. But instead, he just provoked me to get upset with him, so that he could hang on on me. Well, it's not going to work. It's not going to work because clearly, his email to me says, "Come and pick it up on the 18th." Right? That's in that argument. Is that these people are going to get a bill on me here. They're, they're, they're going to get a bill on me. All those people who've done that to me, 40, 43 of them, <coughs> 41 people who done this work, they're going to get a bill on me here. The same with that guy going to get a bill on me. That's why I say I send the boys around. They are the debt collectors coming to his place and look at his property. He's going to pay for getting in my road and defaming me, trying to put me down, set up. It's just head up, they put me down. Okay, it's the same as what Harold's doing. The same white people we have had enough of their bullshit on these lands anywhere in the world just to make money. It spoiled my whole week going down there for nothing. Just for nothing. He made me go down to Auckland for nothing. Because I really thought, and trade me, has said, pick your TV up. Because they, they, they made him give me my TV. Because under the policy, when you get a TV, it's yours. Doesn't matter whether I say keep it or not, it's still yours. You, 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 in their trade me terms, you bought it. <coughs> I'll just see who this is. Hello? 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 Oh. Strange. I get these calls all the time. These these people who know that I've got something going and they're trying to sell me something. And because they see all my postings online. Now all I want is one investor, a, a, a real Honest one, straight up, wants to talk 
one-on-one, -on -one. not just hiding behind a curtain. Pull the thing off. Pull the curtain off. Harold, learn one thing. Why don't you be honest and upfront with me? Because I've spent years putting this together. And you might have money made. I'm going to get money too. A shitload of it. Okay? And I'm not a German. I'm not a German. I'll be, I'll be dealing fairly with the king's common people. Totally different to fraud and corruption I see from the German queen. And every other German that's going to fuck this whole world up. That's why I can swear like that. Because they have. They have. You've got to ruin everything. Ruin all the king's good work. Ruin all the king's good work. And still doing it. Well, they're going to get the bill. Harold, touch those documents, you've got to get the bill. Do not use them. I'm warning you, don't use them. I warn everybody else, don't touch them, because someone's looking after me, Harold. It's not you. I dare say it's bricks. I dare say, because they've had enough of you lot. I can say that openly now. You're shafting me. You're screwing one out of me. You're not going to get away with it. This is where the buck stops, right now. I don't want your money. I don't want your money. You keep it. Because I've got my own project. That's my project, Harold. That's not yours. Those ideas are mine to do for the people. I'm doing it for the people to claim. It belongs to them. I set it up. I took a long time, long years to set it up, Harold. You're not going to come and pinch the bloody thing. You're not going to pinch this bloody thing. I'll give it to the Chinese to do, and they'll flood the bloody whole place out. It'll be the end of all your lot in power. I got another one after that, Harold. The Taiwanese. I made a deal with them. They're the superconducting people. Here, guess what? I bought this one out. This, this, that one's going to replace all of this one. See? Not that fucking dumb. You think you're the only clever one? No. Why do you hide behind a veil, Harold? Why are you hiding behind a veil and trying to think you're going to screw one over me? I'll make this really, really public. I'll put a shitload of time in this, 20 years, to set this all up. What the Queen, the King wanted. The king wanted what I'm doing with this flag. He gave it to us because he knew you thieves over there was going to screw his good work. And you are screwing his good work, but you're going to get the bill. All of you, Harold, you know, as well as I do, that you are third parties to a two-party contract. I was going to put you on a two-party contract with me. Gone. You are a third-party threat. Now, Harold, don't be surprised if the Chinese will be my second partner. Second button. And Mattel in England and all those other English people waiting for me to get this flag down. Right? There's plenty more people other than you, Harold, that got money. Just needed a little bit. I just need a little bit to kick the whole lot off, and that's the end of that lot. Your billion won't be looking like much, mister. Harold Link, when I get the people to own this, you elite people will be getting less and less because you've got fraud documents. All of your documents, Harold, is fraud. I can tell you that straight to your face. All that money you made is fraud. Linked to the Queen. Everything she touches is fraud and corruption. There. Tell the world that. They'll make you account for where you got your authority from. Where you get your authority from, Harold? From the King of Thailand. Where did he get it from? These flippin' fucking kings. That's what, Harold. They get it from the kings. The flag here. So what did you say to me? You said, oh, we'll take the CB in title. Like hell. Like hell. Not for your rich people. Not for your rich families. No. Belongs to the people on the land, Harold. You're not going to come here and screw us. You can stay over there in Germany and stay there. 
right? And all those Asian people are watching what I'm doing and watching what you're doing on their land. You might look good and do good, but deep under, it's not a look that is good. If you do that to me, who else are you doing it to, Harold? See? Pull a fast one. No. I'm pretty good at words. I've learned from people like you. I'm learning what you do right in front of your nose. And you just give me documents to sign with nothing. Just gimme, give gimme, give gimme. Give well, your gimme, give gimme give from me is air force my project right now because I'll get someone else. Okay, that's all. See you later. Bye. Camera. I'll switch this one off. Sorry, I'm just turning this uh, cam off and it takes a little while to switch off. I've got too many things on my desktop um, and it takes a little while to clear it, but I'll talk while it's disappearing. I've got Andy Devine in Greece um, um, live streaming me so that people can see what I do. Nobody gets to see what you do, Harold. I'm still trying to disconnect the camera. Um, Insert. Insert.